Hey, everybody. I hope that all of you and your families and loved ones are keeping safe during these hard days for our nation. We're facing the darkest days of this pandemic and our economy is still in crisis and recovering much too slowly, in my view. We're, we're experiencing a long overdue reckoning on racial justice and we have to take serious actions to address the existential threat of climate change. American cities are on the front lines on all of these crises. You know, you are the people in this country uh, look to first for your leadership, your guidance, towns, cities, larger cities. You know, I know how hard it's been. You know, when we did the Recovery Act back when, in, when we first came into office, I dealt with um, thousands of the folks in, in, your, in small cities and big cities, and you are the place where people go. Their quality of life depends more on what you're doing than anything else. And I know how hard it's been. COVID is straining your healthcare systems, burning out your healthcare providers. Essential workers are putting their lives and their health at risk to keep your communities running, but you're not getting the support you need to be able to keep paying your teachers, your police officers, your firefighters, your first responders, providing them PPE, keeping everyone safe. You know, uh, it's, it, we, and, and the Congress has passed the money. It's passed the money that was designed to do this. And it's not coming forward. I know it must be frustrating. Yet, in the face of these challenges, you've all stepped up. I want to thank you for being there for your communities. For the families who are grieving and lost loved ones, you're there. For the folks who are worried about whether they're going to be able to pay their rent or, or find their mortgage payment and all the proud Americans who are seeking food support. I've seen it, you've seen those, those lines in your own cities, thousands of people lining up for the first time in their lives, first time in their lives needing food for Thanksgiving, needing food day to day. I want you to know that my administration will have your back, I promise you. And it didn't matter whether your city supported me or didn't support me, I meant what I said. There are no red cities, there are no blue cities. There are only American cities, American states, period. I really mean that. These are American challenges. We have to meet them with one country, as one country. Not, as I said, as red and blue states, but the United States. And Vice President-elect Harris and I are committed to being real partners to you so we can coordinate a real nationwide response to these crises. So I want to thank you all for what you're doing, for your leadership comfort and support you'll continue to provide for Americans as we face this pandemic. I know that our best days still lie ahead. I really believe that. And as president, I'm going to work with all of you to deliver for, to deliver for the American people. And I really mean that. And like I said, you know, you're right on the front lines. People probably literally are knocking on some of your doors, your doors, you, city managers, city mayors, council persons. I want to thank you all. You really are doing a job. And you're not asking anybody when they ask for help, whether they're Democrat, Republican, or Independent. You're stepping up. I promise you I will do that. And you have a seat at my table in the White House when I am sworn in. I genuinely mean it. I genuinely mean it. And I wish all of you and yours a safe and healthy Thanksgiving. May God bless you all and may God protect our troops.